Hey, what does this mean? Fighting spirit. Yeah. Fighting spirit? Yeah. Uh, I gotta get one of those. Ah, uh, Roland Sun. Wait. So cute. Oh, that's nice. I soon learned that the Japanese warrior spirit is alive and kicking, even at the shopping mall. My Aikido adventure was just beginning. I bet you didn't know that Aikido was inspired by a Japanese prince in the 9th century. He was fascinated by the way a small spider could trap a larger insect in its web using minimum effort. From there, Aiki Jiu Jitsu was created, the forerunner of Aikido. In search of Aikido's past, I headed out to Yamanashi, an old samurai prefecture. The feudal lord here had practiced Daito Ryu Aiki Jiu Jitsu. Aiki Jiu Jitsu was a martial art used by Japanese lords to fight unarmed against the samurai. Instead of using force, they used special techniques to attack the samurai's weak spots. <laughs> okay. Takeno Sensei was a legend in Aikido circles. He ran the local Yoshinkan Dojo in Yamanashi. I spent the afternoon with him learning Aikido moves that originated from Aiki Jiu Jitsu. This technique is called Kote Gaishi. And this is used uh, basically when a sword comes in here. This is reverse arm. This way here. You can use both hands to take the attacker. Or if they come into this strike here, same thing. This way here. What's very interesting about this is that all the techniques that I'm doing here use only the three fingers and the thumb area here. So just positioning the hand in different areas, three fingers and the thumb. Here, three fingers and the thumb. <laughs> Big strong muscle. <laughs> Tight arms. He's got the the eagle grip. <laughs> Kano Sensei explained that the reason why there's so many wrist techniques in Aikido is that historically the armor on the samurai didn't protect the wrist area. The wrist area had to be very loose so they could do all the strikes. So this was a perfect opportunity for someone who didn't have a weapon to disarm somebody with a weapon by just simply bending and twisting the joint area here, taking the sword away, and then slicing them or cutting them. Later at the dojo, Takeno Sensei told me that the former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson had been a fan of Aikido's techniques. Tyson was fascinated with Aikido's flowing moves and fancy footwork. I asked Takeno Sensei if he thought Aikido was better than boxing. boxing, boxing, Aikido, Aikido, Judo, Judo, Karate, Karate, They're all they're all different. It's possible to say what would have happened. All that training had made me hungry. It was time to find myself some warrior food. This is a hoto, which is a traditional Japanese dish that the samurais would eat in the 1600s. Want to try some? Ah. For samurai combat food, these noodles tasted really good. The Yoshinkan wasn't the only dojo that taught Aikido. Back in Tokyo, I had a rendezvous with Japan's first Aikido school. I'm walking down a small street in Shinjuku to the Aikikai Hombu Dojo. This right here is where it all started. It's known as the Mecca of Aikido. Aikido is a modern martial art with ancient roots. It all started with this man right here, Morihei Yoshiba, a martial arts scientist in his own right. Morihei Yoshiba led a fascinating life. Trained as a warrior in several martial arts, he eventually created Aikido, a unique blend of Japanese warrior philosophy and flowing moves. At the dojo, I met Yoshiba's grandson, Moriteru Yoshiba Doshu. Along with his father, Kisamaru, he's helped to popularize Aikido. Thanks to them, over a million people on the planet today practice the art. Yoshiba was a genius who developed hundreds of moves. 
None of them involved strength. It was all about technique. I was still curious about how Aikido practitioners use their opponent's energy against them and decided to learn more. this technique so difficult is that you have to learn how to use your opponent's energy against them. A beginner student a lot will have a tendency to fight against each other. But in Aikido, as he pushes the pressure here, I just simply come here and then push it down. The reason the technique is so difficult is because you have to learn how to use your opponent's energy against them. The physics of Aikido were fascinating, but so was its philosophy. Yushiba Doshu told me that the true aim of Aikido was to promote harmony between man and nature. I've traveled out of Tokyo to the mountains of Odawara to witness this rare ceremony called the Misogi. It's a Shinto purification ritual. The waterfall represents nature and the ceremony is meant to connect man with the universe around him. Aikido's founder, Morihei Yoshiba, also saw Aikido as a form of purification. He believed that the purpose of training Aikido was to become a warrior for world peace. 80-year-old Yoshi Kazu Kono practices his own form of the art. For him, the Misogi ritual represents an essential part of his Aikido philosophy. やわらかになって中の繊維だけ残るでしょ。人間もいろんな色んなものでこうってある。それが味噌に合わせて現れるというと、周りの余計なものはなくなって、真ん中も大事な芯だけ残ってる。この芯が強くなる。After the Misogi, the master invited me for a session of Aikido with his family. He had a unique way of explaining the essence of Aikido. He said that the power of Aikido was like a laser. It was small but very powerful. By directing all this energy into one little point, there wasn't much you couldn't do. Hi. <laughs>